welcome to Wander to Lust. I'm Randy. And I'm Kelly. And in this episode, we're going to introduce you to Lily. Meet Lily as we prepare for our maiden voyage. So let's get started. So how was your week? Good. How about yours? Mine was long. I did have a three-day weekend and we're sitting out here in the Pacific Northwest. A little bit of sunshine on a Sunday. It always happens. I know you campers are out there waking up to that and saying a little bit of sunshine and then we're gonna bring the rains again. So Does, doesn't it always seem like your last day of camping is the best day? <laughs> and I agree. I no. do agree. Do you I guys think I don't, that too? I don't, even, I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> I mean, how many times have you been out camping and you wake up the last day and it's been kind of lousy mm -hmm. and then the last day when you have to go home. And you have to start, you know, packing up and getting all the kids together and realizing you got to get home and then you got to unpack and get ready for your week. Why is it so sunny at you know what is it you know 8 to 10 a.m. on a Sunday yeah. I'm excited to take you on a little tour of the inside I've been busy um, filling Lily um, I kind of need to go back a tiny bit and talk about the name though on our last episode we only gave you a picture of it at the very end and it said meet Lily our little pad so I'm gonna have Randy tell you a little bit about Lily I let him name her and I think he did an amazing job. <laughs> so how'd you come up with that name? Um, I don't know. You don't know? No, it just came to me. He has this marketing genius. But anyhow, isn't it adorable? So when you think about Lily Pad, I've been calling her our little pad. She's just precious. She's a 19 foot Keystone Passport 199 MLWE and she has some amazing features inside so i'd love to walk you around show you about the storage a couple new purchases i've been getting i've been mostly bringing things out of the house of course i'm decorating it so let's go see her welcome to our lily pad this is our murphy bed and this is our new Zenus memory foam six inch mattress that we got we're going to show you how easily it will flip up into the Murphy bed. So, Murphy bed, over to the dinette, which again, you could probably get, I say two people in here to sleep, so maybe a daughter and a grandchild. And we have, let's see, happy campers. We have our little entertainment section. Lots of storage, lots of storage, you guys storage everywhere storage next to the murphy bed storage over here in the kitchen we have a three range burner we have a microwave we have nice storage underneath we have drawers we have storage one of the things i really wanted was i wanted a bigger fridge um let's see what else and my bathroom, is anybody in there? It's the powder room. Look at how stinking cute that is. It is, it even has a tub and it has lots of storage too. So how cute is that? So there you go. This is Lily. So what have you been working on this week? I've made a couple of purchases. Okay. So I'm not sure if we talked about the Blackstone Grill. No, we haven't. That's new. Yep. So we got the Tailgater Combo. Very nice. Yep. 
comes with a grill box. I'm not sure how big the grill, the whole grill is. Um, we'll put a link in the description. And um, so it's basically got two burners. It's got two different kinds of burners. It's got uh, kind of a, a barbecue style burner on one side and then a regular stove burner. Um, and then it has a grill box and a grill. So I'm thinking we're, we should basically be able to cook everything on that. Oh, I've been following some of the groups. You guys have some amazing meals that you cook on those from anything from corn on the cob all the way down to your spare rib. So yeah. Sure. I and mean, they, people bre use breakfast, them at home too. breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? So, yes, absolutely. Um, the griddle, um, pancakes, mm -hmm. bacon, eggs. Oh, grilled cheese, everything. Grilled cheese sandwiches, and then the then the Frying grill box, hamburgers, hamburgers steak, mm -hmm. chicken, broth. And you love your meat. What else did you get this week? We got the mattress. Yes, the Zenus Green Tea mattress, six inch from six Amazon. Six inch, six inch, hundred and sixteen bucks. Yeah, Seems haven't like used it, it yet. But. Definitely, definitely going to be better than the mattress, the the trifold mattress that comes with oh. it. We try. I think maybe we'll show show you that it still the Murphy bed still folds up with that mattress. Yes. Some other things that I got this week were the black cutting board. So we don't have a stove. I guess the Furion stoves have the glass top that adds to counter space. One of the things that we've already identified is we know we're going to be short on counter space. So I purchased a uh, 18 by 24 black plastic cutting board. So we've got that coming and that's gonna just set on top of the stove. Uh, inline uh, water pressure regulator. I got the Y splitter so we can hook up a black tank flush hose as well as our water hose at RV parks. Um, I got a uh, 45 degree clear elbow so we can, um, when we're cleaning our black tank, we can ensure that it's nice and clean. Um, I got the surge protector. Wow, that's a lot of things. Maybe we need to list them uh, out. What else did I get? Uh, there's a lot of things that you need to purchase going into being first time RV owners. And before you take your maiden voyage, no wonder some people just go park in a lot and kind of just get the quirks out. We've been kind of doing that over here. I've been pretending it's been my she shed, so I've been having fun decorating it, so I think you'll enjoy that. Um, I know there's a couple other things we've been doing, so what about the pad? Let's talk a little bit about this pad. So we've identified that our pad is a little tight. Yeah. Um, it works, but it would be nicer if it was a little bit bigger, so we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. We're going to have to take out a tree. We have it spray painted already. Move the rock. Good. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention was the refrigerator repair. Oh. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> do we have to bring up the refrigerator repair? Yeah, we, we need do. to at least bring you guys. Did back. we mention? Did no, we mention last from the episode? Beginning. Did we mention last episode it, how it wasn't? It wasn't cooling. cooling. No. So it, it wasn't, wasn't cooling. Uh, first off, I want to thank everybody that posts. Yes. Um, you know Cheers, the top you ten, the top ten things that you need. Um, you know must-haves. Um, but you know obviously the, all those lists have helped us ensure that we get everything we need. You know when we start this, um, and that's been really helpful. Another thing that was really helpful was, um, I can't remember his name now. I should probably. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in the description of this guy that's up in Washington. Like the Mr. Refrigerator Man? Oh, he's amazing. He, he does mobile RV service in the Seattle, Washington area. And he basically listed off um, some uh, troubleshooting steps to resolving refrigerator issues. Um, ours wasn't cooling oh. but it was making a gurgling noise it was horrible turns out the gurgling noise is the cooling unit boiling which it shouldn't be if it's sealed 
so we know it's a leak. So I ordered a new cooling unit. It's going to be here Monday, uh, and I will be replacing the cooling unit, which was $445, and I'm going to do it myself. Uh, ensure that you check everything, regardless of your time constraints. If you're buying an RV and the refrigerator isn't cold and the sellers tell you that it works, tell them that you want to see it cool. And if they tell you it takes 24 hours to cool down, then tell them that you will come back in 24 hours to see that it's cool. So I just wanted to put a shout out to my RV works. Um, this is the guy that has the mobile repair service in Kitsap and Olympia, Washington area. Right up to Washington. Yep. And uh, he, um, <clears throat> yeah, he was like, the guy is, a the guy's a total said. He yeah. has, uh, look up his channel and uh, like and subscribe his channel. We love his um, channel. It's, he's just a really smart guy and, um, and very helpful. You know, he has a business where he repairs RVs, yet he's still posting, you know, DIY videos mm -hmm. on YouTube mm -hmm. um, to help, you know, oh, people. Oh, thank you. What was save. his first name? Um, Darren. Darren? Um, yeah. Thanks, Darren. Darren. Yeah, thank you, you Darren. You see this. You know, I want to give a plug to our first membership that we that he purchased. It was for the Good Sam RV Club, so we could get our discount on our stove, or excuse right. me, our grill, our Blackstone grill. Um, this is known as the nation's largest RV club, and the perks are that you do get the Camping World, members only specials, discounts on dining, travel, and more. You get percentages off on diesel, you get 10% off on all your uh, 2400 parks, you get an RV trip planner which can't wait to go look that up and I looked up here in Oregon that we have 94 Oregon sites I just started like going through Oregon um, sites yes to, to get 10% off so they're from from this um, camp good Sam oh, membership awesome. yeah and there's some really cool ones and I I'm thinking that maybe in our maiden voyage we might even just you know go to one of them but like what's an example um let's see um, oh gosh, Cannon Beach, Seaside, but then also here in the valley, if you want to just go to Salem, um, if you want to come down here, you know I, I mean? Like, I heard you get um, discounts if you're old. Yes, there are military discounts. No, military people aren't old. Oh, sorry. Old. <laughs> I was thinking that when you're military, then you retire, and then you become old. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I think if you're, I think if you're um, like 55 and older, I think. Um, yes, yes. I think there's discounts yes. for... I'm studying, Isn't there, like, isn't there yes. like, don't they have websites for 55 yes. and older? Yes. And there's also... Yes, there's military. Do they have websites for 55 and older campers? And 55 and older. Aren't we? No, and, aren't we like... Uh, don't we belong to a group for 55 and older? Do you? Do we? You're the one that manages the social media. I am going to be 60 in September, so I'm in my own group. I'm actually in my quarantine, born 1960, no, turning no, 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 60. No, no. I know, so I'm in Stop. my own group. Focus. <laughs> I'm Are in we my in own a 55 group? and older camping group? Yes, but it's called 50s. It's What's it called? It's 50s RVers and, and older. It's like... There, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to help these groups out and get some publicity, and and you're not working with me. Okay. Do we belong so, to a group on Facebook or some social yes, media? Yes, I do. And is it for older RVers? Yes. And what Cheers. is it called? What was the name of that RVer group? RVers, 50 and older. Awesome. So, do you fit in it? <laughs> 50 and older. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm in my own group, sorry. <laughs> You're not in your own group. We're still both in our 50s, so. For a couple more months. Yep. Wraps up this week's episode. I wanted to say one thing. Next week, we're going to talk a little bit about the truck repair. It's something that I didn't mention. Um, it's a 97 Dodge Ram 1500, and it has the keg-style intake manifold that has the plenum gasket issue and we're going to get that fixed so we're going to get the motor all nice and sound 
for our travels. Yeah. I can't think of anything that's going on next week except looking at the weather. Um, the weather looks like it's going to be 80s. There's still chance of, of rain up there. I mean, look at these gorgeous Pacific Northwest clouds. I know there's rain in there, but come on, guys. Let's, let's, come on, summer. It starts July 5th. We know that here in Oregon. Okay. Until next week. All right. Happy camping. I hope that this information has been helpful to you. I hope you're enjoying our channel. Uh, we would love it if you subscribed, like the video, share the video. If you're newbies like us, we've been learning and we hope that if you guys are thinking about it, you know, we just started it and we did the start small and start now. So you guys can do it too. We are, we are newbie newbies. We're not, we see a lot of newbie RV videos <laughs> that are actually seasoned RVers that are talking about you know what newbies should do and we're the opposite of that we're like we just bought an rv a week ago and we are discovering this stuff on your own so one thing i wanted to add is we are going to be posting some nice footage of our adventures and i know that these types of videos are probably not as exciting as those uh, but please subscribe and we are going, once we get going, we're going to start posting some more enjoyable content to watch instead of, you know, us getting ready to even hit the road. Here we are two weeks in and, you know, we have yet to hit the road. Okay, we just wanted to show you that even with the new six inch memory foam mattress uh, not like a trifold mattress that it comes with still folds up so we have four standard pillows plus the mattress and the hot tip is to two just blankets. and two blankets pull this out to make sure it's kind of it's tucked. already tucked downwards a little bit watch your fingers up here babe a little bit there okay. There we go. Easily. Easily fold. So there's actually even a little bit more space, but um, with all the bedding and everything, it still fits in there, no problem. And I kept my pillows out and my blanket out too.